All right, let's just get right into it. I don't have time for a fancy intro, to do anything stupid, to introduce myself, because I have so much con goodies to show off today that we just got to blast right through them. I got my McDonald's Coca-Cola glass filled with juice, pineapple, and something else. It's not bad. I don't even like pineapple. Hi, everybody. Welcome to YomaCon 2022 Con Hall. I'm Hot Zenny. <laughs> this is all the junk that I'm going to be showing off today. And apologies in advance. I'm going to try, like I did last time, to match up. If you're an artist and you gave me a card with your art, match it up with what I believe <laughs> was the piece of art that I bought from your booth. But I can almost 100% guarantee I'm going to mix all that junk up. I'm going to do my best. First up, we're going with the keychains, which I bought way too many of this year. I'm going to need a bigger cork board because <laughs> I'm definitely not fitting about like 80% of these on there anymore. I lied. Not starting with keychains first. We're starting with the best thing I bought first. Starting off with a bang. Goes my chair again. It's got a mind of its own. Loves spinning in that direction. This is the first time I bought a plush from an anime convention. I got PP Me from Pop Team Epic. It was like they were hanging from the ceiling and there was this nice, super nice, cute little old Japanese lady. And they're all imported from Japan. They're real. None of them are fake. She ensured that, pulling the tags out, saying they're real. Look, came from Japan. And I said, oh, cool, I'll just take a look. Unfortunately, I didn't see your little gremlin friend Popko there. So I just had to deal with this one. But I think the 50 bucks imported real thing, especially in a dealer's room at an anime convention, it was pretty, that's a fair price for a good sized plushie. Unfortunately, I thought, I was hoping she was gonna be throwing up the, the double fingers, but the tag does have her fingers up, probably for uh, legal reasons, I don't know. <laughs> What's the tag say? Yeah, yeah, sick, awesome. The big old head, aw. Oh, oh. I got one blind box this year. A little fungi. What the? Is that an acorn? Lame. Man. What is this? <laughs> Why even add that in the box? This is, <laughs> I'm done with blind boxes. <laughs> I always get the crap. Like, this shouldn't even have been in there. It's like an ungrown mushroom. Where's my trash can? Speaking of disappointments, on Friday. First time going into the dealer's room. No, it was the second time going to the dealer's room. And speaking of Pop Team Epic, if you haven't yet, I do have a vlog for Yomacon. Check it out and you can see me post purchase disappointment depression after buying these outrageously priced, tiny they are, keychains. I was so mad at myself for buying these. The lady even said, this is like 20 bucks a piece for these tiny little stupid and I had to wait. There's like a line of people in front of me. There's chaos. They have like a thousand keychains to pick from, and she didn't know which ones to grab. She grabs the girls. So I say, throw in Morgana <laughs> in his chair. It's Morgana, see? He's smoking a cigar. And I even asked, like, hey, if I buy the, the girls together, can I get a deal? Or do you have any deals with usually buy two, get one free, or anything? No. Of course not. I was so tired, hot, exhausted, hungry, famished, thirsty. She said it was like $80 for the three of these, $80 for the three stupid little keychains. I pulled the cash out and I don't even remember handing it to her. I think she just grabbed it from me. Just kind of like overwhelmed me. <laughs> I, I turned gray. <laughs> I said, I gotta get out of here. I'm not allowed to make any more purchases for the day and I'd be lined it straight back to the hotel room. <laughs> I took a shower and I think I even like put my hand, rested my hand up against the wall and just let the, the water like rinse my woes. Never again. I'm done buying stuff from the dealer's side of the room because they never have deals and it's always overpriced. So this whole haul video is basically just going to be me comparing buying these three keychains comparing to buying everything else from actual artists that have way better deals. So, speaking of way better items and better deals, best keychain I've ever seen in my entire life. My God, when I see, she had a bunch of them from different uh, anime. They are packages of the character with like items from the show. So this is Anya from Spy Family in a Peanuts 
package and it's it's like filled with air I'm not you can squeeze it so it's actually like sealed tight and there's little peanuts inside and her little stuffed animal doll thing does it have does she have a name for it I wish I could have stopped and check out checked out the rest of her items I didn't get a card from her Panda Gyoza Studios that might be it <laughs> I guess she just calls it Director Chimera. This is awesome. Even like the picture, Anya's favorite. Or her booth was so busy when I, I just jumped in. It's like, give me that. <laughs> like I, I barged in front of like everyone else. Just grab them at random. Oh, here we go. More spy family. <laughs> I seen this one at the last second. I was going to grab another, a different spy family of her with uh, Bond, her dog. And I seen this one at the bottom. I was like, oh, no, this is sick. I love it. We have Anya and Damien <laughs> looking so slick, at playing their own little spy games. I love Anya so much, how smug she looks. She's got like, the, sh the shark tooth jacket and, and the bonnets over her little cone things on her head. What does she call, I, what does she call Damien? Like the first child or something? It always makes me laugh. She never calls him by his name. Oh, Detective Damien, Damien. Detective Damien and Agent Anya. That is so creative. And the artist at the booth who designed this said this was actually an accident because I said, wow, that, this is like a really big keychain. And they said it was printed on accident for whoever prints out their the acrylic things and people loved it so much and they're like we're just gonna keep making big acrylics <laughs> and it looked great the second son that was close I'm so happy I was actually pretty startled when I seen this <laughs> finally and I got both Boji and Kage ready to go on an adventure I love this so much such a great anime I really hope they do more it's just a fun shut your mind off get invested even at points anime I cried multiple times during it. <laughs> Next, I pinned these <laughs> keychains to the artist card. I, ha I have the right artist for this one, guaranteed. A Hamtaro one. Once, have you ever seen a Hamtaro <laughs> fan art of anything at a con? I'm at my limit. That's actually my exact thoughts when I was Sunday, last day of the con. <laughs> I was at my limit too, so I really felt Hamtaro's statement. And I got another keychain. Uh, I have like no Miku keychains, and I was like, I need some like Miku merch. <laughs> it's it's a monster Miku. She's got a can of. It's not monster. It's that. Well, it's Miku energy. So I really dug the vibe of this one too. It's really funny. We have an adorable Mothman. And Mothman is great already on his own, but the artist had to one-up it, didn't need to, gave him a tie and a briefcase. This is business Mothman. Nice and, uh, ooh, like the holographic, it's like stars. Yeah, and, and more Mothman merch. I already have some <laughs> when I visited the actual Mothman Museum. Watch that vlog. Halfway through the acrylics, another one-up game changer from Nier Automata. We got my boy, Emil. He be cruising looking to make some deals about to run you over when i uh, got the got home and i was going through all my merch i noticed like there was like a little extra plastic thing in the package and i was like what is this i thought something broke or maybe she just threw in something on accident no not only does this work as a keychain bam look at that that is awesome i've never seen anyone do that before meta thinking right there so i can stick them right up there because I don't have room for keychains on my board anyways. <laughs> a double-sided keychain. My boy, Guy Fieri, hell yeah, hugging a hot dog. <laughs> the Spirit Halloween uh, off-brand was a, the governor of Tasteville. I, I didn't even know it double-sided until I like flipped it over and there's one uh, where he's just hugging the hot dog. And the other one, he's going in for a big smooch. Dining, drive-ins and dives. Also, I was I kind of freaked out when I seen Doro Hedoro merch. I love Doro Hedoro so much. Another anime I can't wait for the next season to show up. There's no Kaimon there or Nikaido. Though I think those were sold out because there were empty spots. But they have this guy. Fujita, I was surprised. He's like the, the dorky dude. And I thought it was just kind of like a funny call out to like a side character that doesn't get as much love. And what's even funnier is I bought the keychain of him 
and like within like five minutes I bumped into someone actually cosplaying as him. Shout, shouts out. Am I on my last keychain? Last keychain, best keychain. Another anime that did not get enough love at all during the con. You do camp. Ah! <laughs> I can't believe how little to none you do camp merch there was. I was ready to stock up on prints, nothing. There's one booth who also had Zombieland Saga merch. She was the only booth that I seen Yudu Camp and Zombieland Saga merch. I freaked out. I deemed her the best booth. She saved Yomakon. We got the Secret Blanket Society, ran into Deshko, and Chikua in the pirate uniform. Nadeshko has her little uh, cup noodles at the bottom, and Rin has the pine cone. I love this one so much, and I think she was like surprised. <laughs> surprised that I knew what the show was. That's it for the keychains. Moving on to all the pins. Might as well continue with the artist I just left off on and go over her pins. I got three of the characters from Zombieland Saga. Of course, if you're new to the channel, <laughs> I love Zombieland Saga. I love Yudu Camp. Probably two of my favorite animes in most recent times. I wanted everybody, but I just could take whatever I got. So I got my girl Saki, Lady Yugiri, and Tai. And they're all kind of uh, like, I guess like brushing their hair or applying like Saki's got a brush. Yugiri's like, I don't know what the hell she's doing, applying makeup or something. <laughs> Tai's eating her makeup and she's got like a brush stuck in her hair. She's trying. That's why she's legendary, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't watched Zombieland Saga, do yourself a favor. <laughs> board game on Kickstarter huh check out 1001 Odysseys the board game oh yeah from the the booth that had the Yudu camp uh, she had a bin just full of uh, enamel pins and I seen all I seen was uh, the top of Shimarin's top bun <laughs> and I was like oh and I pulled it out and uh, yeah there was a Rin attached to that big uh, blue bun so I was like okay throwing this what she's saying the pine cone she has the pine cone saying meet you up I don't know where I got this from but it's a, a glow in the dark enamel pin of a ghost making a call he's using his tail to hold the cord what is this tail holding like the old home phone curly cord it's a glow in the dark I do have a glow in the dark uh, mothman pin I was like, I want another glow in the dark pin. That's sweet. What's the, the little uh, Ouija board thing that moves around? Not the board itself, but the thing you move. Hello? Oh, <laughs> hello, ghost. Can you hear? Oh, so someone is using the Ouija board trying to summon this ghost. And he's mad. He's trying to sit and watch TV and have dinner. And he says to answer the phone. Hello, who is this? You're, no, I don't want to tell your fortune. Yes, you are going to die soon. That's cute. That's super cute. I got, I got it. I, I figured it out. Same artist. Uh, we got our little trash panda. Raccoon this time. Digging through a cooler full of pizza slices. That's totally me. Woody Woods National Forest. That is cute. I love that idea. Oh, I love this pin so much. I freaked out when I seen it. It's another creative idea. The little uh, pin protectors are little hearts. We got a little cat, a Neko, fishing. It almost looks like the Hokusai water rushing over him. He's in his little inflatable raft and on the end of his fishing pole he got himself a little puffer fish who's enjoying himself a little too much with the bait. <laughs> it's like his eyes are watering. It's so delicious. Speaking of another great booth, the same booth that I bought the initial D uh, keychain from. Thank God, finally, Lucky Cat merch. I've been looking all three days, please, someone have something Maneki Neko related. Come on, I mean, if you've watched the channel, you know I love my lucky cats, my fortune cats. Feline Lucky. At the last second, I seen this pin and I thought it was super cute. Moth Girl is just a cute little girl. I feel like I've seen this character before. She might have had her booth there last year, but uh, yeah, she's a moth with pink hair. Last enamel pin of the day, my boy, Agent Kerbo with the 9mm handgun and the Agent Smith glasses. This is amazing. <laughs> that is it for the enamel pins. On to the stickers. Okay, I gotta shut up. Let's just rifle through these. Fried egg. 
enough said. This goofy looking clown sitting down, almost kind of like how Peep Me is sitting down. And my, uh, another catfish boy, but this time instead of his fan, he has a uh, pistol in his hand. <laughs> this booth specialized in uh, cryptid versions of Garfield. This is Furby Garfield. Shout outs to uh, the centipede possum that she had made. I, I seen this at the last second, but she had a sticker that just says everybody loves ramen instead of everybody loves Raymond, which is funny because my mom pronounces it Raymond soup and I correct her every time. <laughs> took a picture of uh, somebody who was selling a big plushie of like a bubble tea and it had like a little face on it and I thought it was funny because my friend has the bubble tea shop so I sent him a picture and then later I looked back at the picture and I noticed in the corner there was actual plushies being sold I went back the next day and I think they were already sold out or gone I was so mad so I was really excited to at least kind of make up for it and find an Axel sticker. I like this one the most. He's like in a little teapot. I had to get this one. Oh, I'm mad. I didn't get to play it at the game room. I just noticed that. No. Taiku no Tatsujin, the little drum, the little drum fellas. I like how it's dun dun dun. All the sounds that the, the, the drums make when you hit boom boom boom. I got a doubt on my sticker. This time we're getting out that ugly guy's face and replacing him with something much cuter. A little cat. Couldn't really say no to this one, but uh, Pikachu, uh, Bobby Hill, Bobby Chu, this funny little chubby Miku, just having fun. And then uh, this artist, uh, I wanted one of her little original uh, sticker prints. I thought this one was cool. This gothic looking chick with the, the lip piercing and the ears, she's a bat. This was the last one. I was like, oh, don't worry about it. And the last one she had was just a display one and she pulled it off and it was a little bit wrinkled and kind of uh, bent up and I said, oh, you know, whatever, it's fine, I'll take it, I don't care. And she said, no, you know, I, I don't want to sell you like something that's best up. Here, I'll throw in a, a extra sticker for you. And I was like, no, don't worry about it. I can, I'll buy these three. But she insisted that I get another sticker just for the trouble. And I, so I got the uh, uh, Mob Psycho sticker, a uh, little dimple boy. That was really nice. So she was the one that I, I bought the, just to make it up, I bought the extra Moth Girl pin from her. Stickers are over. Next, let's move into what the hell else have I bought? <laughs> there was one new booth that I've never seen before, but they had these big light up paintings with like a light box, a colored light box. They were um, awesome, like super cool, but super expensive. I was heavily considered buying one. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. <laughs> if I did buy it, they're like $200 for like the full package deal. Good thing I didn't go to that booth on the way back and I got distracted or else I probably would have bought. I don't know how I would have walked around with a giant light box. But speaking of light up stuff, I finally bought one of these stupid light up acrylic stands. Instagram and Facebook have been trying to get me to buy one of these for about like six years now. They're cool. <laughs> it's like a stupid little light thing and I, you know I kind of wanted one danced around getting them. I probably still wouldn't have gotten one if there wasn't one readily available at an anime convention. I got the cheapest one is Asuka from Evangelion holding her spear, at least I think she's holding it. I don't know if it's going through or not, but she is making a face like It was like 20 bucks, the same booth that I got my Kirby pin from. So all this light up thing with the box and you can plug it in USB, you can have it change colors, you can pick your own color on there. I like the red because it's Asuka. All this for 25 bucks. You know how much three little keychains cost me? Next, Prince, my favorite. God, I don't even remember what I bought. I think somehow all the prints that I bought were original art. This one's probably my favorite. I love it so much. It looks, uh, yeah, I had to ask, cause like, was this from anything? And no, it's just an original character. And it's pretty much just the artist putting in stuff she liked and thought was cool. And there's just a bunch of little references in the background. She's just standing out in front of a convenience store in Japan. The character's design was cute. It almost reminds me of like Nijijo or something. What is all this stuff? There's some vending machines. There's like eyeballs. Is that like a, a pun, like pun pun references? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this one was really cool. I, I, I love this one so much. Just how uh, fun. I like the manga art style. Next up, 
Ah, this booth had so many cool prints. Something else in here is just like a thick boy. I think this is just a thick boy. Yeah, a lot of dark <laughs> gothic themed stuff. Uh, I thought this one was cool. It's just a, a candle lady being melted. Like the woman is a candle and she's melting. Out of, she's made out of wax. But they had a ton of cool stuff. My friend bought like a little print and like I wanted them all. But I went with this one. I wanted to go back Sunday and get more. I, I couldn't afford it. Yeah, another original print. More, more cartoony uh, girls. This one's another sick one. I like the flat kind of pastel posterized look. It's kind of dark. It is very dark. This girl's not looking too good. She's looking pretty beat up. She almost looks like uh, when you get stung by a bee in Animal Crossing. The same eye. Is this the eye from something? It's like the same little eye thing. Somebody elaborate. The bloody bat with the nails in it. A pack of cigarettes. She had two cups of ramen. This might take place during like the 80s or 90s. Kind of like uh, the school uniform with the big baggy socks. <laughs> cigarettes in the can. The last print, this one is so sick. Like it's incredible how well done it is and how unique it is. It's it's like be that beautiful gothic dark stuff. It's like, it's twisted and disgusting, but super beautiful at the same time. I kind of like glanced over this one and my friend kind of pointed out like, yo, that's awesome. And I looked more into it and was like, okay, it is really cool. I'll take it. <laughs> and the artist was really excited. I think I asked about how she kind of came up with the design and she said she actually came up with a story for it. She started working on it, but she kind of ran out of ideas and then she needed help to kind of like finish it. And she was talking with her husband and they were trying to come up with ideas how to like develop the character. He kind of like encouraged her to make a story for everything about this picture. So that kind of like influenced her to keep going and to like make a story for it and come up with more art and like to finish the painting. And that's kind of how I actually uh, came up with the idea and finished my late night bike ride. The art for my late night bike ride t-shirt of the two characters on the bike. I kind of came up with the story and that kind of influenced how I like thought about how I wanted to do the picture and the art for it. So that's really cool. And she wasn't kidding. Like <laughs> I got the whole thing to read. Front and back, Crown of Thorns is the name of the art piece. I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's very poetic. If you want to, what do you want to pause? <laughs> you can pause uh, the video if you want to read it. I love how uh, excited artists get when uh, you like their original stuff, which I mean, it's totally understandable. Where everyone's kind of like jumped for joy. It's like, yes, <laughs> you want it? Are you kidding me? Especially uh, the artist that I bought uh, this one from. <laughs> I think that goes a little too fast, <laughs> a little too chaotic. I got me some anime drip, boy. And I got, I kind of got like one of each style of clothing. I got a t-shirt, a long sleeve, and like the full like thick winter sweater. This was the first thing that I bought. I've seen these kind of ideas before. Let's go ahead and put it up there. This is the Baja Blastoise. This is all Pokemon and like fast food themed. There was like Muck Donald's, the, the Gengar Raid, the Pikachu, Chick-fil-A or whatever, uh, Mutant Dew. As, uh, if you don't know, I'm kind of a Mountain Dew freak and Baja Blast is my joint. I mean, I mean, I got a damn Taco Bell shirt on. I have to read you this, uh, the little uh, card for their website. Glitch Gaming Apparel, glitchgear.com, look them up. But if I may read this little excerpt, on the back of their card, let's go ahead and bring this in. Glitch Gaming Apparel is the premier brand for video game t-shirts developed for gamers by gamers. And that's gamers spelt with a Z. Glitch is determined to produce the coolest gamer gear on the planet. Glitch aims to break boundaries by creating a fusion between the gaming and apparel industries like never before. Bringing gamers with a Z. The coolest t-shirts from the games that gave us thumb blisters and hand cramps. <laughs> it's like some life-changing experience. It's just Pokemon themed fast food t-shirts. <laughs> Let's go, baby. We got an Evangelion shirt. We got my girl Ray, Ayanami, cartoonized, <laughs> looking very fresh. Totally not 
killed a few times and blown up and stepped on and stabbed and shot. I was kind of like the, the cool like streetwear aesthetic look that I kind of wanted to use on some of my shirts and I thought it was kind of funny at the same time. Bunch of cool stuff on the sleeves, all Ava themed. Subject, Ayanami Ray. Classification, first children. <laughs> Occupation, Evangelion unit, zero pilot. I was about to say OO pilot. This guy was cool, I was in my uh, Joker cosplay. When I went up to ask if uh, he had the shirt in stock in my size, he kind of was like piecing together all my cosplay <laughs> and he's like, oh, 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 and he like kind of like pieced it together and got it and he was kind of stoked and then he seen I had the Morgana plush and he uh, pieced it all together and he got kind of hyped that uh, I was doing the Joker, Joker, the Joker baby. <laughs> I was doing the Cafe LeBlanc version of Joker. Last, this artist had some insane art pull up this thick daddy sweater. Again, this whole really nice, warm, snuggly, well-made sweater was still cheaper than those three keychains that I bought. Hyper crazy art on there. Yes, I loved all of his art. Overwhelming, <laughs> if that's a good way to put it. It's chaotic, it's very chaotic and overwhelming. Tons of colors, very high energy. <laughs> I imagine like the creative process is Kind of like uh, that meme. Oh cool, you made all this cool uh, art characters. Who do you want to put on your sweater? And he just answers, yes. It's like everything, but I kind of like the character. He almost actually looks like Joker from Persona 5. This is hospital themed. He's a vamp, vamp nurse, sexy vamp nurse. Nurse boy certified. I guess taking care of Care Bears. There's like a dead one on a stretcher, bear down, blood. The, <laughs> the bee is the bee. It's the bee, is bear. Bear with it. Yes, it's very stupid, very wild and fun. But I love the design and all of his art. It's insane. That's it. That's everything. It's the most I've ever bought out of like probably all the cons I've been to combined. I saved up for over a year specifically just to buy junk from the dealer's room in Artist Alley. I'm proud of myself for holding out that long. Not proud of myself for spending all that money regardless. <laughs> I feel dirty for like spending all that on all this junk that I can't even really fully put up yet and use. So don't spend $80 on three keychains. Support your local artists. Shout out what your favorite thing that I bought was. Probably the Anya Peanuts keychain. I thought this was a good uh, kind of way to wrap up my all my con videos. So if you haven't watched my vlog yet, go check that out. If you haven't watched the cosplay slideshow, go check that out too. We'll do it again next year. So let's wrap it up. Much love everybody. You're the best. I'll catch you in the next video. PP Cole says like and subscribe and leave a comment or else.